Well, what's going on is the culmination of about 10 months' sweat, which is my new exhibition, not cartoons for change, but actual paintings. Because when I went to art college millions of years ago, I had these strange, unfulfilled dreams of painting. And now, finally, here we are, a million years later, it's all happening. If you see the central image, it's a painting of me, by me, when I was seven years old, and it was uh, one of those ones that's taken at school for one and sixpence. It was reproduced in a newspaper, and therefore it was reduced to newspaper dots, and I enlarged those dots to about a million times their real size and painted each one by hand. And in so doing, I discovered that in my left eye was a little image of, of uh, a mouse. And I said, gosh, and I'm a cartoonist, and I sort of, I sort of took that little image and put a circle around it, and below it painted Mickey Mouse, as though maybe this had some sort of relevance. Maybe the whole thing was intended in some magical way. And I used this little mouse, and it, 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 it's a symbolic mouse, as a kind of branding for the other pictures. And I, as he was a mouse, I began, since I used Mickey once, I started voting Mickey into the other paintings. And then I found a mouse on the internet with a human ear growing on his back, and I said, he looks pretty good and I threw him in and he's in some of the pictures as well and everything sort of cross-fertilised or cross-sterilised or something and, and, and that's what they're all about you know, the kind of late surrealist paintings I, I suppose I've known Tom's work as long as I've kind of admired Tom we kind of worked in the same newsroom if you like in the in the late 1980s from that point on. I didn't get to know Tom until many, many years later, but before I actually got to meet him, I was uh, a huge admirer of him, you know, because um, I just loved his work, you know, his cartoons were just so quirky and, and, you know, just that really, really simple thing. It always made me laugh out loud. And, um, you know, not, there's not a lot of cartoons actually make me do that, but his are always just so fiendishly clever and uh, his jokes are just so brilliantly executed.